My name is Sammy Wakefield, an occupational therapist and the inventor of HAMI. Welcome to this instructional video demonstrating how to install a flexible chest and shoulder girdle with the arms on the original HAMI. The chest, once installed, will remain on HAMI permanently. The shoulder girdle and arms are made to be put on and taken off easily as needed. For this activity, you'll need to have a stable non-skid surface on which your hammy can lie. Non-skid cupboard liner is helpful. You should have a medium Phillips screwdriver, hand sanitizer gel, and a small piece of tape, and the chest all on hand with the original hammy. Place the tape over the nut on the side of Hammy's head to hold it in place. Turn Hammy's head so that the Phillips screw is facing upward. Loosen and remove the screw holding Hammy's head to his spine and remove the head pieces. Sit Hammy upright with his legs open for a stable position. Use hand sanitizer gel to lubricate the outside of the top bead of the spine. Pick up the chest and with one hand apply tension to the yellow black cord representing the sternal spinal line. This is an imaginary line between the sternum and the spinal column that allows demonstration of chest rotation and flattening. Pulling it taut ensures that the cord knot inside the spinal column tunnel doesn't become dislodged as I put on the chest. Gently slide Hammy's chest down over the spine beads until only the top two beads are showing. At the bottom of the chest, the bead with the pink top cord, psoas cord, attached will be covered. And at the top, there will be two beads showing and a space between the second and third bead. Lay hammy flat again replacing his head. Tightening the screw to allow for appropriate head motion so that there's some stiffness to it. Remove the tape. And here he is with his new chest. With Hammy's chest in place, we can now add his shoulder girdle and arms. These are designed to be removable with movement potential to demonstrate upper limb impact on sitting and lying posture. The sternoclavicular joint is the only bony joint attaching the shoulder girdle to the rest of the body. A rear clip simulates all of the muscles attaching the shoulder girdle posteriorly while allowing complex movement patterns. The clip also secures the unit to hammy. I will now show you how to install and remove the shoulder girdle. Turn hammy sideways. Enlarge the opening between the scapula and the clavicles. Do this by rotating the scapula upward, bringing the arms forward while supporting the clavicles up and forward. This makes the opening large enough to fit over Hammy's head. Lower it and hook the back clip between the second and third bead 
of Hammy's neck. It will be resting on the top of the chest. For the front fastener, support the chest with two fingers and press the button into the hole at the top of the sternum. To remove Hammy's arms, reverse the process, turn Hammy sideways, unbutton the sternal button, unclip the vertebral scapular clip, upwardly rotate the scapula, rotate and slide it over Hammy's head. Hammy is now ready to demonstrate new movements and postures. Experiment and enjoy your upgraded Hammy.